podcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday and it is today and forever.
I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. As always, this is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio, a platform that is the embodiment of pro and groups, and of course, anchored by Diokba Uchi Ukafo, Mefo, who lives from Abatete in Anambra State. The man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And of course, I take the liberty to acknowledge members of the de facto customary government who understand the need why we must all stand up and do the needful. The road is not going to be that of a very convenient one, but believe me, they are ready for it. Acknowledge members of the Biafra Nation Alliance. These are groups of individuals across the globe who understand the need to look at evil and call it by its name. I the administrators this morning, Board of Trustees, and of course, every world, meaning Biafrans across the globe, sympathizers and people of conscience. You're all highly appreciated and welcome on this platform. That hasn't been said, I thank the Almighty Creator the one who made the heavens and the earth and who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. to the conscience of our people to understand what is at stake. The first comment on that platform was what is the solution? But it is very unfortunate if the people of Biafra to ask the same question to which they already know the answer. And of course, based on my disposition this very week, one or two things may not be regular, but then we we'll continue doing what we are doing. And so this morning, I think it is important for those who sincerely may not know what the solution are. For you to be able to have solution to any challenge or problem as the case may be. You must first of all 
understand what the challenges are. There is a problem you're looking for solution. Uh, what are the challenges we are facing as a people of Biafra? Very important. If you want to know the solution, and then there is a problem, there is a challenge, and you must be able to define this challenge properly. That is why in the medical sector, they don't attend to you until they have examined your case. Take you to lab, run one or two tests, and I tell you with the accurate results, with the accurate information at their disposal, your case. lawyer before his client if he must be able to win that case irrespective of whether you are guilty or you are not guilty to give him all the detailed information on how that issue start and of course for the counterpart lawyer to be able to win this very case irrespective of their disposition in the law court there are room for cross-examination this cross-examination is meant to help each lawyer present fact and figure regarding the issue, the challenge at hand. This could not be different when it comes to the issue of Biafra. In order for us to have a preferred solution, we need to know what are the challenges. Number one, Nigerian constitution, the creation of Nigeria is a challenge for the people of Biafra and the Igbo people in particular. One Nigeria is a problem. It is connected to every challenges we are facing today, irrespective of the angle it is coming from. I read an article online by one Yoruba woman promoted by one Igbo boy how they went to London and schooled in London, how they Hawasa Fulani to London and took over power and then to dominate us, how the Britain were afraid to let Ibu man or Yoruba man rule. Of course, they didn't even add Ibu there. I wanted to respond to that comment, but I said, let, let me just leave these people. We all know the truth regarding the issue of one Nigeria. It's a plague. This is the greatest evil that has done to humanity. But of course, some people are sitting down and feeding on our misery. Just recently, the United UK said... It, it, And then Britain is you uh, we, 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 we is going to have economic value. Economic value for who? And sometimes so we can be polite and people love us. We ignore all these truths. But at least I'm happy for human rights organization who raise the alarm and condemn such art. But it may end up on the pages of social media. That it is ill conceived. Britain, divide Nigeria, and you will see no Biafra will come to your land, except for genuine business. Divide Nigeria, Africa will be healed in herself. Britain, you will see no African will go to Europe, but you know already. But coming back to Nigeria, where we are, we have a constitution of enslaved everybody, even without our knowledge. The Fulani and I was being advised are making sure this constitution is not a review. They lied against us. The NAS, among others, have been campaigning about this. It's not as if we don't know. We know Nigeria is a problem. Solve Nigerian problem, you must go back to Abuli Accord, 
which is a call for restructure. A call for restructure will give birth to rebirth of Biafra. A call for restructure will give room to constitutional amendment. A call for restructure will give us this dream nation, our one Nigeria we long for. It belongs to all of us. It is unfair that when we address Nigeria, we address it by three major ethnic groups. Of course, we are undermining other. of nigeria we already know it but most people who had what it takes at this moment each these processes are beneficiary from this creation of nigeria but one way or the other everybody is going to get their own share britain cannot stop immigrants rwanda will not host anybody because the people of rwanda will st soon cry britain the nigeria you created you must accept us there were time all of you wanted slaves. You were coming to kidnap people and steal people. You know, you don't have to talk this because Facebook may cut you off. Because maybe it's one of them. But now you are chasing us away. You need slaves. Now we are ready to wash your toilet. UK, we want to wash your toilet. Dress your mortuary. Attend to your old women because we are animals. You don't want us to come? Rwanda and the uh, asylum seekers sending to rwanda is not a solution solution is there. do what you want to do you will wake up in the morning and millions of migrant africans will be in your country kill them after all you have done more than that identify what are these challenges number two like we're saying the issue of one nigeria Yoruba should stop pretending because they benefit 10% from our misery. Aousa Fulani should understand that the kingdom rise and kingdom fall. It will not always be like this. And you will see in some thousand years ago, if you do not retrace your step, this will still come up. And then you come to the areas of Biafra land. So many problems, challenges everywhere. The more we try to correct this problem, the more we create more. Why? Because we don't know the challenges we are facing in the first place. We took the liberty to come on air here, addressing the people of Biafra about the challenges we are facing as a people. We came out to reorganize our people. We vowed, we took oath, we violated our conscience, everything we believed in, we counter, we replaced all of them for the love of Biafra. But you haven't seen the problem. Nandekano sued all of us. He's the current problem we are facing, most especially Ibu land. He sued all of us. Most of you blamed us. When well, you know this evil was happening, why did you not say anything? Now we are talking. Most of you are still saying, hey, you're talking too much. Leave Nande Kano alone. No, I cannot leave him alone because Nande Kano is responsible for what Simeon Ekba is doing. He's responsible for what Idu Kingdom is doing. He's responsible for what DOS is doing. If you want to know the problem, this is the truth. If you don't know the problem, you cannot confess, profess to have the solution. Each time I see it online, Another Kano has gone beyond even hitting the head of the ethnic nationality within the Biafran territory together. And we're pretending as if it's okay. I see them coming out to say the same thing we have said over and over. It doesn't make sense. You, you must identify this problem. I, I, for the love of God, I don't know. Somebody will come out cursing on the Kano wife that is a shawu, and then another will come and cursing on the Kano brother that they are criminal, of course, rightfully so. And then at the end of the day, they tell you, Nan the Kano is our leader. Nan the Kano is our leader. And you can't read in between the lines. 
let's let's just take a look at some of them you know set one though you're there for there yeah the problem we have this our uh, enemy in the house is the governors the governors without our people did not rise up quantity and face them we can't get them that is the truth we cannot only the ESL cannot go there because the Okay. You understand? Let's so, let's let's yeah. go back a little bit. The problem we have this our uh, enemy in the house is the, the house is the governors. The governors without our people did not rise up quantity and face them. We can't get them. That is the truth. And, and to this and to this person Only and to this group of Nandekano charlatans, the governors are our problem. You know, somebody is asking, well, what is the solution to insecurity? What is happening in Igbo land? It cannot be limited to Igbo land. These people are not Igbo. But the, the platform is created by Igbo. And so Igbo is behind what is happening here. Because you need to find out where is our problem coming from? Well, Sophia is from Edu. Uh, a, a, a Sima is from Akwaibom. All Biafra. I respect them for that. But then we've not been able to identify the problem. Because now the Kano is the one who has employed you see certain things. Most of you don't want to accept the truth, but you don't have a choice. Now the Kano trying to undermine. Neighbor. these are the people you listen to now we are listening to them they never called for governor of our bond to be killed they never called for governor of a uh, 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 to be killed they are calling Igbo people Igbo people come and kill your governor come and kill your governor so our life can be better you see Igbo governors in charge of the oil well Isibu governors in charge of resource control. Isibu governor, what exactly? Yes, they are corrupt. And so is every other governor. Those people are not our problem. But this thing they are doing is even magnifying our problem. Let's just hear the, from their mouth. No, because they, they, no, no, they, their security is very mighty. When, uh, when, uh, when Ensa, after answers, I was screaming on the live video. I was shouting, hey, is the governor, if one go down or two go down, the rest go wrong, then we go free. You understand? So, mm -hmm. we, if we keep 300 police, now nah, it don't make sense to run. For me, oh, now the governor, like Opus or Dima, we just a shot. Yes, kill Opus or Dima. They make noise. Or the one just come, so. Now, there be the problem. There are the problem. If one or two governors is out of the way, the rest we run. Believe me, Dr. Nen. Yes. And who can do that? It's I our youth. Now, it's our youth. Now, it, it, it's Nelly. I don't know who gave them doctor. Whether doctor is a surname now, I don't know. It is Nelly Ofubu, as they said, is their name. It's not telling you, let's kill the governor. Let ordinary police and army you are killing. You see the problem they are generating. In as much as I'm not in support of the criminality of these governors. But killing anybody will not give you power. It will not change our problem. It will not. Because for you to say you want to solve problem, you want solution. First of all, know what the problem is. Now, what Onanda Kanu is trying to do under the negotiation with the Nigerian state is to pretend he doesn't know. Simeon Ekwa's stand is grand, antagonizing in Nandekano to draw attention away from Nandekano. DOS, GK, Dozi, and then they know what they are doing. If you cannot believe this truth, how do you expect pro solution? A doctor tells you you're suffering from malaria fever and you are going to buy ampel cloths and you want malaria to go. Ampel cloths may be antibiotic. 
but it doesn't cure malaria. Biafra human rights are telling you this is the problem. Not because of hatred, it does not drive us. Not because of ignorance, we are not one. Because we know this game better than all of you. We were there before you came. And when the rhythm change, we knew our dance step have to respond adequately. If indeed your perfect solution to this challenge, you want it, begin to read meaning into what we are telling you. Let's kill the governor. Let's kill the governor. Let Nelly tell us to kill governor. At least I respect him and the said I, I want to protest people are eating chicken too much they will give you license to go and protest then you they My permission to go and protest so you want to protest for criminal they're going to stop you when you are a criminal yourself he did the damn put the video and she said i mean oh we are formidable very hopeless set of people i can go on and on and on and on and on playing audios of what we are doing to ourselves you see when the governors finish listening to this those of them who are sympathizers they will now come but you know nothing about this government so first of all identify the problem what is our problem as a people what do we want are we confused people if every man i have met along this struggle in this struggle we are reasoning like in nandekano i would have changed my nationality if every man and woman I have met in this struggle, reason like a the canal, I will take the fate of my kejase, bleach myself and get out of this black skin, for God's sake. But each time I sit back, I see noble men of integrity. Men whose simple touch command obedient and loyalty. I don't praise them, but I tell you the truth. And so each time we want to run on the offense. We remember those men with the heart of angel. But what do we do? What do we do? We keep faith alive. This moment. Because whether you like it or not, you will see the truth in the end. And then you need to progress and see who are responsible for this problem who are the promulgators who are responsible who are responsible for this very problem who are responsible the problem we are facing who are responsible who is killing Igbo people who is sponsoring the killing of Igbo people who is destabilizing biafra land If you want solution, you are saying, oh, sit at home, Abia sit at home, Enugu sit at home. Today now, sit at home is for only Anambra, Animo State. Not even in Nande Kano Afari Beku. Go to Afari Beku, Ibeku, where Nande Kano come and talk of Biafra. May the Lord have mercy upon your soul. I'm not telling you why. Go to Ibeku, his own commu community. Now I know why neighbor don't relate with them they despise them if you go to another kind of compound and then you hang around any building within that their street that their vicinity they despise us i've noticed it but then 
I, I didn't pay attention. Now I begin to get the picture clearer. What is responsible? It is not just knowing the problem and to get the solution. Find out what caused it in the first place. And so that when you have solved the problem, it cannot repeat itself. The absence of this knowledge is what makes us to begin to repeat the same mistake our father have made. Begin to make the same mistake they have made. Ojuku fought war. We have a lot of controversial discussion going about it. Or rather, Ojuku defended Biafra land. Adakaburu was there. A lot of lies flew through the air. And then, and then so many other people. Kesariwiwa died there. We're beginning to tell ourselves lies. Some will tell you, Kesariwiwa betrayed Ibu. And then he was killed. Adakaburu betrayed Ibu. And then he was killed. Then Ojuku betrayed Ibu. And then he was killed. And then George Onibe betrayed Ibu. And then I will kill all of you in the Ara. Because I cannot be killed by mere mortal. My case has been decided long ago. This is because we know the problem. Sabotage is there. We know. But who are what is responsible for the problem? Go and find out. We continue making the same mistake. If you don't know, when our time is gone, we leave. Another set will still come up. Because with the injustice we encounter in Nigerian state, agitation will continue. Whether we are here or we are not here. And so the next generation must understand and find out what is responsible. You know, having dirty water around your compound can cause mosquito. And when there are uh, enabling environment for mosquitoes to breed in your uh, 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 environment, you're bound to have, uh, what do you call it, malaria fever. What do you do? You take necessary action to stop them. And as far as the lack of and the canal and those of you who promote them are here, we are bound to go through the same process all over again. The solution is find out who are responsible. Who is responsible for non government? Who is responsible for sit at home? Who is responsible for ESM? Who is responsible to say kill our governor, kill our Igwe, kill everybody, kill everybody? Some of them have been sent to come to Potako. They are looking for George Unibi, but they don't have sense. I have told them and I'm monitoring them. In fact, that is why I have to broadcast every morning. Because in the evening, I go to their camp and wait them. Anywhere they may pay, what I will do to them. That is why I'm saying it now. The same way I told you now the canon. That is how I'm telling them. Until they leave Port Harcourt, I will be here. And when they leave, we will still be following them. I will not soil my hand in the blood of my own people. But I know how to handle their matter. I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. It will be embedded in your DNA. I promise you. So every night I'm around them. Let me see who you're going to hit. I will, I will, I will disgrace all of you. Criminals. You must find out what is the problem. Who are responsible. As we speak today. And now the Kano deliberately want to destroy the Afro agitation. He has said it. If he's not the leader, nobody will be the leader. He must destroy everybody. He must rubbish everybody. Now it is time to be rubbish. Very hopeless criminal with charlatans and misguided brothers. And then number three. What is the solution? It lies in our hand. The solution lies in our hand. And the, the first among it is that the people of Biafra must have true perspective of the matter. Know the truth. You must have true perspective of this matter we are talking about. Things are getting worse. Bills are being passed from one stage to another. Conspiracy are going on against us as a people. And they are winning our people over to themselves. It is weakening the whole process. But of course, every individual involved in this agitation must stand alone. Let's not drag it into ethnic crisis because we will lose it all. The system has been compromised already. Let Nande Kanu finish his negotiation. We are waiting for him. Let his uh, talent display and acro acrobatic dancers on stage. Let them be dancing nakedly. 
We are their destiny and we are their doom. Our people must have true perspective of the whole issue. And now, this is how it works. If I see students, for instance, who are studying very hard, and I have the privilege of interacting with most of them, and I say, what do you want to become in future? Some will say doctor, lawyer, engineer, and so on. And in, in the heart, their heart of heart, they, they thought, when I graduate, I'll get employed, and then I'll become a big man, i buy a house, i buy a car, and then i get married, and i have children. Life goes on. But most of them don't understand that the course in Nigeria is that when you graduate, you will go and learn work from somebody who didn't go to school. Do they even think about the issue of employment? And now, the truth of the matter is, when you are training your children, those of you in Nigeria in school, just train them for the sake of good luck. You know, good luck means opportunity meet preparation. Let them be prepared for a future who a, a, a better plan for them than they are qualified. Not because they are going to be employed and they're going to have a good job. Give them that mindset of becoming employers, labor creators themselves. And so know the truth of the matter. Have the right perspective. Each time you are coming on social media, you are coming to cause mass which you will come from before. You want to insult Mazi Obide. You want to insult Alajasare Dokubo. You want to insult Nande Kano. Or you want to insult any other person involved in this issue. Have the right perspective. And with dignity, serenity, you do it. Today, any time I talk against the Nanda Kano and his criminal tout, Chiki Duziem, Benjamin Madubugu, Bright Chimize, another idiot, I say it with pain in my heart. I say it and I thank God I have the privilege to say it. These people are wicked. What is your own perspective? What they told you? Is it what they told you? Is that your perspective? The solution lies in your hand. You can sit back there and insult everybody and curse everybody. You can sit back there and call the angels that they are the devil and the devil that they are the angel. What is your perspective of this whole issue? My confidence today is I have worked among my brothers within the Nigerian state. 99.9% .9 of them have encountered me. And those of you who are close to me, you, you, you know the truth. You know everything they talked about me. They are lies. But yet, most of you will come and join them. There is this brother from Imo State, Judo Arodwe, who lives in Delta State. The man who knows all this truth. He comes and, and then insults me sometime. I look at him because he doesn't know he lives at my mercy. Most of you are like that. John Chukuma was arrested. Judo already is playing politics. I know he must have entered John now and be uh, uh, our brother. All of you, your judgment day is coming. Why are you doing what you are doing? I saw a post online this morning. Somebody wrote and said, uh, Judge Onibi was the security officer of Nandekano when they kill Prophet. When Nandekano killed Prophet Umuku. I have served IPOB in different capacity. And I must not deny my actions. I understand when it comes to the issue of leadership, the first ingredient that is required is you must be ready to redeem account accountability. Whenever it is called upon. And I will give details. I will redeem my account when it comes to what I have done. I know the operation, but I never get involved. Even when the volunteers were noble, I never got involved. I can only talk to volunteers when we want to organize rally. I give them our plans and then we move on. But somebody is not telling you, oh, in other words, they're trying to tell you, George Onibe killed Prophet Nwoku. And honestly, during the time Prophet Nwoku was killed, I was one of those people who believed in Inna and the Kano divinity to the blindly. I was one of those people under the spell of Inna and the Kano. And, and so I wouldn't even believe Inna and the Kano can do such. And, and so I, I did not have to look into that matter. 
Let it just seep away. So the point is, what is your perspective? You want to dim the de de human or demean anybody? The problem will still be there. If a can a be kakwane be adia mama, do what you want. Uh, what is the solution? How do we get about? These are what I'm telling you. The people must have true perspectives. And the third one there is that the people must identify the problem. You must identify the problem in which we are not even doing. And now the canon name is selling for the moment. So anybody do Jesus, 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 Jesus. That is how musician cheat you. When they finish taking Igbo, some of them, Kai Kai like me, they now come because their hip hop is not selling. They will now say, Arabarabarabarabaraba, Jesus, Jesus, Christians with you and boo. Hey, he mentioned Jesus. He said, Holy One. He mentioned Jesus. They begin to buy it. So you want to do your people for one night now. You what you do is now say, Arabarabarabaraba, Nande Canon, Nande Canon, the new God of Ndibu. Not all of them, some of them. And everyone say, what what a useless set of people I've not seen in my life. If I wake up tomorrow now and say, Well, I'm sorry for what I said about Nanda Kano, he's a good man. You begin to hear Mutineke, Watineke, Hello Hua is walking, Hello Hua. Very unfortunate set of miscrimes. Well, miscrimes is even good. One idiot coming riff raff. Very unfortunate set of people. And then the final way to get the solution is the people must work as a team. How, how do we work as a team? When you have people being sponsored by Nanda Kano and IPOB by our monthly dude, they are telling you that uh, 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 let us begin to kill our governor. Let us begin to kill our governor. We need everybody, both our mad people, both our normal people. You should not try to control everybody. Some of us are just a weapon. You just need to use us. Don't control us. And so we, we, we have more problem because you are trying to control your father. You don't control everybody. Some people are beyond control. You don't control them, but you can use them. And only those who understand the mind and the process of unification, only them will survive. We must come together. The current agitation is all about uh, Ndibu. Ndibu non a southeast to Adia Mama. Because the rest of us have been removed from the agitation of Unandekano. But I tell you in a hundred lifetime, no particular ethnic group can be able to save our people from this precarious situation except we come together of course there are a lot of doubts and mistrust and questionable issues in the future that is why there need to be negotiation unification now maybe you understand when 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 nimrod built the two wall of Bibel, their target was to reach up to heaven and then have access to the power of god and God would have sent Angel Michael and Gabriel to destroy them. God would have just commanded the thunder to strike them. But he was simply teaching us a process. He said, now look, man has become one. And with this attitude, there is nothing they want to do that they cannot achieve. And so let us go down among them and cause confusion. Create disunity. And then we can stop them. And God changed their language. Today, what language are we speaking in Biafra agitation? Some lunatic are on one side of social media telling you, hey, a non government have blessed one police station. Go and take the data of those being killed, the Sibo people. Or, of course, I know now the Kano don't have value for people's life. I had a discussion with one of my friends. He said, One thing I don't understand is, now the colonel said 28 people died in his house. 
And these 28 people, we don't know their name. It could be my brother. It could be your brother. It could be your sister. We don't know their name. And then another colonel came on radio and told you uh, 28 men died in my house and they killed my dog, Jack. We know the name of another colonel dog. His name is Jack. Jack another colonel. That is the name of his dog. And then all those who died don't have name. So they don't exist. There is no greater honor, no legacy you can leave behind. The greatest wealth you have is your name. That is why they say good name is better than riches. Protect your name by every means. Those people died for nothing. Now they cannot dehuman them. When I heard that says to one of our brother, Elliot Uku, professor, and then he gave me a book. And what amazes me in that book is that somebody was able to compile the names of almost 99.9 percent .9 of casualty in the guise of nigerian war who were in the north i have all their records and i begin to wonder it takes a human to deliver such or make such effort most of you will not buy that book most of you don't have access to those books but those people has kept information to us that we cannot kick off their name is there tell on the how many people died for you and if he has known them and he called their name one after the other and he tried to remember their face they wouldn't be sending their children to abroad and then asking you to live in the bush and as idiot you are you are living in the bush and tell me why thunder will not fire you and those who have died stupidly like you will not kill you inside the bush there i don't know how to talk to you people so you understand he told you my dog was killed he loved dog and ipob jumped on social media and started telling us how uh, they buried dog american buried dog gave him presidential barrier how indian buried dog gave him ceremonial barrier in the era are you india are you america don't you know there are things they do that are sacrilege in our land it's unfortunate and then finally, having been able to achieve unification, you then engage the last process, which is teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. I used to love Oki Foreign, that idiot then, when he said Akira Riki. He was right. Teamwork, Akira Riki. I went to a bar, a tailoring shop. And what they produce is women bra or is it braza and they could produce they could produce over 10,000 bra in less than 20 minutes how do they do it it's a very big warehouse they have over 40 machines there each of the tailors there concentrate on a particular session of the bra they keep swing before a tinkle of an eye they have made dozens of bra and then i understand an economic what division of labor is it improves capacity for productivity teamwork you go back to ipob now the kano is financial secretary and now the kano is treasurer he's the feed marshal he's the brigadier he's the doctor he's the unknowing he's even our god he's even our god and then when you bring idea he loves the idea he hijacked it and to be able to sit upon it and tell you he made it he blackmail you let's look at that a little bit some group of nobles, Biafrans in America, came up with the initiative to open a bank. Dr. Kado campaigned for this bank. We went series of uh, lectures regarding this bank, how it's going to function, the benefit to the people of Biafra. It was fantastic, but it was going to reduce the kind of financial accessibility. He couldn't hijack it holistically because board of trustees were involved. And so what did he do? He blackmailed all the people. Did you hear about the bank again? Did you hear about that bank again? Should I begin to mention? He want to be everywhere. He's everywhere. 
Now, let me tell all of you. The first bylaw that governs IPOB, I wrote it. Go and ask you the bill on the way. But you will never hear that. Idiot are coming to illiterate, illiterate. Your IPOB, I wrote it before Dr. Kado was asked to look into it and then they gave you this fraudulent code of conduct which was actually designed to tag including Dr. Kado and the rest of us. They didn't know. When Dr. Kado finished working on that very code of conduct, I, 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 I pointed out two or three things to Mazime for. I said, look at this clause here. It is meant targeted for, for us. And then I, I wrote to the DOS, look at this clause, remove it. One of them, they, they, they made a reconciliation committee and they had Tony Zulumiki, who is part of the EDCA4 we are talking about. And I said, how can you, part of the problem, be member of reconciliation committee? These people should be neutral people. People we can trust. People we can count on their credibility. You shouldn't be there, but they, they, they know what they are doing. All the people who gave him the kind of idea, he rubbish all of them because he wants you to believe that, oh, he knows it all. Let me tell you, in the Bible school, they asked me to write a project. My fame grew high. In 2001 and 2010, I am the best Bible student in Nigeria, organized in Lagos State. The award is still in my house. I cut out away two times best Bible school student. My fame was great in the church I worshipped then. But then we were in another meeting. And they were asking question. Everybody knew I knew the answer. And then they asked me. And I did not answer. I said I, I, I don't, I'm not very too sure of the answer. And that was because I was led not to answer. And after that meeting, my bishop called me and said, Today I know you are a wise man. You see, you don't give answer to every question, even when you know them. You don't pre pretend you know everything. Now the can is everything. He's everything. But behind it, his family member runs it teamwork when is he going to come today i may be privileged to be the head of administration biafra nation alliance but i'm not offer an omega i make allowance for all that to succeed after all i don't know it all it is their present that gives me inspiration let Igede man do the job of Igede. And let uh, 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 Yala man do the job of Yala man. And then let the Igbo man do the work of the Igbo man. And allowing the Shekiri and the Jot to do the job of Shekiri. Everywhere I send the canon. Now he's introducing Igudu Migudu for you. He do his kingdom. He do his Igudu. He do. We know we have Igudu Oba. But that is not enough for you to tell us about Igudu kingdom. Because we understand the application of dialect. I have said this before. In Igbo, you have Ola. In Bayasa, you have Ola. In Edo State, you have Ola. In Yoruba, you have Ola. All these Ola sound the same, but they don't mean the same thing. When the Yoruba say Ola or Ola, they are telling you tomorrow. And when Igbo use the same Ola, it means ring. And then go and find out from Bayasa what Ola means. And so because you see you do eh, I, I, oh my god anyway teamwork is required in conclusion this morning when these processes are meticulously engaged all will be well we can do it everybody just need to come down from their high horse and face the truth reality you have what it takes to question they said the man the canon said he has stopped seat at home which we know is deceiving all of you so who is it who is now right is it the one he hired to be counterbalancing the whole motion who is right is it father Baka? but if we do nothing the situation will get worse as i speak to you over 70 percent of the unknown government and esm are not in the control of Fernando Cano. 
the hunter will become the hunted sooner or later because they have destroyed many lives and in order to hide their atrocity they have to kill more people and now the people have noticed the truth they are defending self mechanism and we, they will resist this process till the end this is still radio biafra and i want to believe that if you take your time to listen out to this program you will understand you'll be able to perceive some of the solutions some of the initiative that we need to engage to have a preferred solution to better the life of our people invariably becoming the author of our destiny in the nearest future as you go about your lawful business this day i do say have a nice wonderful day we'll continue from here in a moment from now again this is still biafra human rights and freedom radio station you are encouraged to look for biafra nation alliance as a pro biafra group uh, i mean i beg your pardon as a biafra who believe in our ideology contact us on our social media platform we are on fm we are really station we are satellite you can get us on Zeno app you can visit our website and of course 100.5 Relay Station FM here in Biafra Land. Join us. Be part of this solution, not the problem. Everybody knows the problem. Only few knows the solution. And of course, if you are a member of any pro Biafra group, we understand we have different ideology. But all this different junction is going to lead us to one end. Join the Biafra Nation Alliance. Together, we will make a difference in the life of our people. I sign off from here, Amen. George Onyibi. God be with all of us. They will know. They will know. Yes. It's Bansy Benny J. She's a man from the beach. No, no, no. Together we're going to make it. Together, uh, and so we say.